stick one of those in? No! So Sabre, what do you like to eat after you go surfing? Donuts are normally pretty good. One time I went on to a camp with Mick Fanning. He wanted me to eat a carrot. Even though it was Mick Fanning trying to get me to eat a carrot, I just wouldn't want to. So do you like these foods? Not a big fan. Tell me what you think. No. Nah. So to eat like a world champion surfer, these are the things that I eat the most. I'm going to actually show you how I can put them all together and make them taste really good. I just get nervous about stuff like this. Kale's not going to taste good. This is one of my favourites. Perfect for pre-surf or after-surf. Mmm. Yeah, that tastes like banana bread batter. <laughs> feels like strawberry. This feels like a raspberry kind of thingy. Feels healthy. Okay, hey, great. Hey, a bit nervous. Oh, that tastes really nice. It doesn't taste like donuts, but the flavour is comparable. It's actually really nice. Have you ever used a blender before? You press a button, then you press the button off. <laughs> no, I hate that one. Let's have a reveal. Oh, that looks heavy. <laughs> it's not that bad. That one's called the Sweet Cheeks because that's very nice. The Two Face because it looks green but it's actually very nice. This one's called the Survivor if you want to make it on an island. <laughs> well, you wouldn't survive, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that one's called the Sabre Tooth Tiger because I made it by myself. So if you want to eat like a world surf champion, this is the perfect way to start. You did better than what Mick did with the carrot. <laughs> Just don't tell me that one. So we learned that eating healthy is not that bad. Let's go for another surf. Yeah. It tastes very sweet and then like it's, you, you reckon it's healthy. I think it'll make you surf better than donuts. That's for sure. Mm -hmm.